This video is about Wi-Fi range expander. Hi folks, I'm Alex Fedikov. Uh, in my house, uh, Wi-Fi signal is pretty good, but it's not really good when I go outside. Uh, it's not working in all places and on my property, especially in my this detached garage. And this is the main reason why I bought this extender. I want to try to install it and see if this will give me good enough signal to have Wi-Fi uh, in the garage. So uh, in this video I'm going to unbox this uh, range extender. The name is MPED. It says high power 600 millivolt milliwatt and after I'll open this I'll give you the main features which it has the specifications then I'm going to install this uh, using my computer and I'll show you the whole process and then I will check the result if result will be a good if my Wi-Fi will work in this detached garage which, which is about uh, 130 feet from a uh, main Wi-Fi uh, station then what else could be better so let's open the box here it comes First, as always, we have here warranty card, setup guide, and software. I see the CD. This software, and it's supposed to be, I believe, to, it's supposed to assist you to make a setup of this extender. So that's what's in this plastic. Then in the box, the range extender itself, a little dusty, which is strange. <clears throat> so it has actually on the back wired outputs, so you can uh, plug in some of your devices like computer or whatever and go and take signal from here also it comes with two antennas and uh, so you screw these antennas to this uh, connectors uh, what it has on the back also it's a uh, power jack so the power adapter which is here I believe yes <clears throat> so power adapter you plug it in in the outlet and what else also it has some kind of some type of stand Let's see. So you can okay this is right way. So you can stand it like this or maybe sideways. Yeah you can do that too. Or you can mount it on a the wall. There is two uh, slots for the screws. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, so you can mount it to the wall and hang it on the wall and basically what's here in the box two antennas the extender itself and manuals and software to connect this to your uh, Wi-Fi main Wi-Fi router okay so let's go to the next step and connect it to the router 
The range expander should be placed in a location where it can obtain a strong signal from your home router. This is typically somewhere up to halfway between your home router and your dead spot. If the range extender is placed in a location where it can only receive a poor signal from your home router, then the poor signal will be extended, making the extended network slow and unstable. Find a location where you can still receive a strong signal from your home router. We recommend a location that you can receive 4 to 5 bars when using your wireless laptop to connect to the wireless router. After you've found your optimal location, you'll need to connect to the range extender. Let's start by locating the antenna included with the product and attach it to the antenna port on the top of the range extender. Next, plug the range extender into an available power outlet. Locate your computer and power it on. And attach an ethernet cable from the network port on the range extender to your PC. Open your web browser and try accessing http colon forward slash forward slash setup dot wireless dot com. When the range extender web menu appears, you will see the welcome page for the dashboard. This page gives you the current status of the range extender. The home or office wireless router that you will be extending is referred to as your home network. The repeated network is referred to as your extended network. Click scan to begin the setup process and to begin scanning for your home network. When you see your desired network listed, check to see that it has a signal strength of 70% or greater. If your signal strength is less than 70% or you do not see your home network on the list, your range extender may be placed too far from your home or office router. Once you have your home network selected, you will be asked to enter the security key for the network. If your home network does not require security, simply leave this field blank. After you've selected your wireless network and entered the security key, click Next. The Extended Network Settings page allows you to configure settings for your extended network. The Extended Network ID is the identification name of your extended network that users will use to connect to your extended network. This name should not be the same as your home network. If you choose to, you may copy the network ID and security settings from your home network by clicking Clone Settings. The wizard will automatically use your home network ID and add the letters RE to the end of the name so you can identify the extended network from your home network. The security key will be exactly the same as what you currently use for your home network. You can also manually enter a new network ID and security key. The security key will need to be at least 8 characters or more. Click Next to apply the settings. The range extender will now apply your settings and reboot. This process may take up to two minutes, so please be patient. During the countdown, do not leave or refresh this page. Allow the countdown to complete and the wizard will automatically redirect you to the next step. After the countdown completes, you will need to reconnect your PC or mobile device to the new extended network. Go to your device's Wi-Fi settings and connect to your new extended network. So this is it now. Now everything is installed and I have strong Wi-Fi signal in my garage now, strong and stable. And I'm 
happy. Now I can have internet here in my detached garage. Uh, I've chosen uh, to make a setup through the internet cable because my computer in the garage does not have the Wi-Fi. And also just to show different way of settings. Of course it could be done, uh, I could have done it with my iPad. The only difference uh, in the setup process would be the first, very first step. Instead of connecting the router, the extender, to computer through the Ethernet, uh, I would have just connect the extender to the iPad through the Wi-Fi first, and then the rest of the process would be similar with the Ethernet cable. That's it, folks. Uh, my Wi-Fi working now in a garage. There is a little downside uh, for using the extenders and it's because it's a different network so you have to switch between networks when I, I mean I have to switch between networks when I'm going to the house if this signal from the extender is not strong enough then I have to connect to my main router so basically I have to go to setup and choose the different network and not a big deal but it, it could get annoying when you're walking too much back and forth but I hope uh, I'll get used to it so that's all for this video please give me a thumb up and write comment your opinion and please subscribe to my channel for more videos Bye now. Thank you.